and greetings fellow space nerds, humans of Earth, and beyond. I'm Cornelius, back at it again with another Starfield shipbuilding video. I've got build number 106, Nightshade, a Class A Sloop of War. If your imagination has ever taken you down the obscure path of what happens when a Cylon Raider and a World War II night fighter have a baby, well, this is where I've arrived with such a thought. These Daretech cowlings really allow for a lot of very interesting shapes. And this Cylon Raider-esque shape is a uh, kind of what I've been chasing here and there for a while. Decent amount of merging with this build, but that is still required to get some organic shapes. Come on Bethesda, more parts, more parts. A boy can dream, right? Anyways, hope you guys like this one. It's a bit shorter, but still sweet. Let's check it out. Mm, that is just a sweet silhouette. It looks like a predator. At least that's the vibe I was going for. It has been out a while, but uh... If any of you have not started using uh, better part flips and snaps, uh, it is some of those parts that allow for this uh, kind of two to one offset that you're going to see here in the build. If any of you are on the fence with mods, if you want to just try a couple, uh, better part flips and snaps will open up your shipbuilding world. With 18 rapid fire particle cannons up front, this bird is a lot of fun to fly. All right, thanks, Andresia. With a crew of two and only a single one by one hab, I went with a minimalist uh, interior here. Still has two beds, toilet area, small food area. Everything else is uh, mission related. Unfortunately, uh, after I finished this interior, a lot of parts just started randomly floating. So, just another Bethesda feature? <laughs> I don't know. A little tiny food area here. That's our one by one. We've got a small aid station here. 
little auto dock action. Short and sweet. That's an interior. Let's get into the build. All right, continuing in this new breakdown style, I've been trying, I'm just gonna break her down into sections. So this is our main fuselage, bay, uh, cockpit, docker, gear and uh, some cargo as well as our grab drive and a reactor so all this should be pretty straightforward uh, you're gonna have to go to uh, Titan to get these gear if you don't have a mod and uh, you can also get this reactor uh, there at Titan this is the best class A reactor. And here's our first bit of merging. There's a good amount with this one. But uh, if you cover the intended slot top and bottom, you used to be able just to drop down. But now we need to merge that part in there, highlight the rest of the ship, and adjust. Uh, that still works. Now we got our grab drive and reactor in one slot. All right, now we'll be adding the dorsal and ventral pieces, as well as the engine stack. All of these pieces should be uh, available in the ship builder. So this is an interesting shape, but I feel like it gives a level of uh, greebling and the final look that uh, is really nice. But it's just Nova struts flipped in the side orientation and merged together. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to do that first and then attach those Nova struts over to these engines and the Deimos spines. Now those sideways demo spines are going to be how we attach this 2x2 two two to a 1x1. One one. Throw these Matilda armor plates on there. Same merging method as before. Now we're going to use again that same method. Just get it kind of close. And we're just going to slide this as close as we can, highlight the rest of the ship, and attach. Now we'll attach this aft part of the fuselage. It's just some decorative shields and some demo spines. Very simple merge but it fills up that gap between the engines and makes it look uh, much more organic, in my opinion, of course. Now that is connecting to the back of the reactor. And now we'll jump over to the ventral structural pieces. We've got our fuel tank here. Same merging technique again. Now, 
you're going to want to attach these Nova cowlings in the middle first, just like that. And then we're going to achieve this uh, merged look with the other Nova cowlings by attaching them to essentially the bottom of the engines. Just slide them in right where you want them, drop them, highlight the rest of the ship, and they should attach. Now there are a few mods that allow for easier attachment. Uh, my mods are always going to be listed in the description, but the one that I'm currently using that helps that out is a TN's uh, Starborn and M-Class Builder. Alright, so for the final bit, our dorsal part, here's our shield. Again, just line up the top, the middle portion of these Nova Cowlings first. And this final pair of Nova Cowlings is going to attach to the top of the engines. Alright, and here is our last portion of the build, the wings. Now this is where the heavy merging is. Uh, I hope I did a good enough job for you to see all of these. Now I kept one intact as a reference, as you'll see I'll need here in a little bit. But everything is attaching to those sideways flipped demo spines that we started off with in the first section. Now you will have to go to the Daretech Star Yard for his cowlings here. Everything else uh, should be available in the builder. If you've been watching the channel long enough, you've seen all of these uh, different weapon setups. All right, this is the first time I've put uh, 18 weapons all up front like this, I believe. I don't know. I can't remember all of them, honestly. But I really like the way this came out. It looks very aggressive. Uh, but these are just... Nova thruster arrays that are attached to the outside 
got some weapon mounts. Now I typically like to get my weapons as close as possible to each other without impeding line of sight. So this little uh, Nova wing trick works for those inner ones. And this is a setup up front here I've used multiple times as well. Uh, if this doesn't work, really simple, just separate them and attach them individually. And right here is why I kept that other wing intact because I made a minor error here. But quick adjustment and we're good to go. And now that we've got our wings assembled, we're going to be attaching this flipped demo spine. That is the main attachment point for the Nova cowling right here. And that's a build. Time for a test flight.
did it. If you made it this far, you're the bomb diggity. You savages, we just hit 700 subs on our way to 1K. I can't thank you enough. This was yet again another fun build. I hope the new method of doing the breakdowns uh, is a good thing. If it is, let me know down in the comments and I will make it a permanent change. With Starfield not being in the greatest of places right now, shipbuilding continues to be a fantastic creative release uh, and something that I very much enjoy. Um, the addiction is real and it's not letting up anytime soon. My next build, uh, pretty excited about. It's sweet. And then uh, the three following that are special. I've been working on those for a long time. If you like what I'm doing, let me know. Views, likes, comments, subs, everything is positive and in the right direction. If you don't like what I'm doing, let me know too. I don't mind having that conversation. Everything is everything. And this is the internet. Anything goes. It's the wild, wild west, baby. Anyway, hope y'all like this one, because I sure did. To all of you out there in the ether, thank you so very much. None of this works without you. I'm Cornelius. You can find me in the Star Yard.